The Story, Chapter 8, A Few Good Men and Women. In those days, Israel didn't have a king. The people did anything they thought was right. Judges 21, 25. In the new land, the promised land, the Israels made a home. But from time to time, they worship idols made of wood and stone, forgetting the great love God had for them. Whenever this happened, God sent an enemy to punish them. When the people called to God for help, God would raise up a leader, sometimes a man, sometimes a woman, to guide his people back to himself. God used these ordinary people to do extraordinary things. Just one more time, Lord. Once again, the people lost their way and worshiped idols, forgetting what God had done for them. So God allowed the Philistines to control the Israelites. Then the people cried out to God to forgive them and save them from their enemy. God answered their cries for help and sent a powerful man named Samson to help them fight the Philistines. Samson had a special gift from God. He was blessed with great strength. Once he fought a roaring lion with his bare hands, and he won. Samson killed many Philistines all by himself. We have to find a way to get rid of him, the Philistines plotted. Samson was madly in love with a woman named Delilah. D Delilah only pretended to love Samson because the Philistines promised her money if she discovered what made Samson so strong. Delilah tried to trick Samson into telling the secret of his strength. Samson knew he should not tell his secret to anyone, so he tried to trick Delilah too. First, he told her that being tied with new leather straps would weaken him enough to be captured. The Philistines tried it. It didn't work. Samson broke the leather straps as if they were made of air. Delilah tried again. If you really love me, you will tell me your secret. Samson made up another story. I'll lose my power if someone ties me with brand new rope. While Samson slept, Delilah tied him up. Again, the Philistines tried to capture him, but Samson snapped the ropes like tiny threads. Delilah really wanted that money. So she said, you lied. If you love me, tell me your secret. Samson really just couldn't stand the nagging anymore. He finally gave in and told Delilah the secret of his strength. It's my hair, my hair, it's never been cut. If someone shaved my head, I would lose my strength and be as weak as any other man. Delilah waited for Samson to fall asleep. Then she cut his hair. When the Philistines came, Samson couldn't fight them off. The Philistines treated him badly, blinding him and putting him in jail. One day, the Philistine ruler brought Samson to the temple to show off their prize prisoner. They chained him to two temple pillars they bragged and made fun of the once powerful Israelite. Samson prayed and asked God to give him strength just one more time so he could defeat the Philistines. God listened and answered Samson's prayer. Then Samson pushed on the pillars with all his might and the temple came crashing down. All the Philistines were killed. Samson died too. But he was remembered as a man of great power who knew his strength came from the Lord. Mm -hmm.